I am currently in a place called Mong Kok, one of the world's most densely populated districts. And it's part of what makes Hong Kong, Hong Kong. It's going to be filled with old and new buildings, thrift stalls and night markets, lots of food options, and a lot of neon lights, making it a street photography haven. And because it's already nighttime, I'm gonna be using my Sony 50mm f1.2 G Master so I can really open up its aperture and collect as much light as I can. I can really use faster shutter speeds because I'm mainly going to be hand holding my photos for today. And I don't want to introduce a lot of camera shake and blur in the photos. So it's gonna be a really good lens for low light photography. Finding it very difficult for the photos because my usual approach for street photography is I find an isolated subject and then I photograph that subject within its surroundings. But because of how densely populated the streets are, there's no subject to isolate. There's going to be crowds everywhere. And that's going to lead to a very busy and distracting photo, which I try to avoid. But that's going to be the challenge for today. And I mean, it's a really, really nice place. As you can see all around me, there's neon lights all over the place. There's buildings that are interesting to photograph. And the streets are pretty much so alive. So if you come to Hong Kong, then do make it a point to visit this place and then you experience Hong Kong to its fullest. My approach on this evening was to find out complementary or standout colors as the nightlife in Hong Kong is quite vibrant and just patiently wait for gaps among the crowds so that I can compose first and then try to get lucky. This scene with the neon light is really quite special in my opinion, though I clicked the action camera off too quickly for the POV, but I love how the yellow shirt of the man, greens of the truck, red neons plus the bonus reflection on the truck complemented each other. So I'm actually doing a bit of an experimenting today for my street photography because I noticed in my previous vlog that I missed a lot of focus on the shots, which is quite a shame because I liked some of the frames there and the photos came out soft. And I thought probably the reason was because I was using a flexible spot focus area, which basically lets you define based on the tiny box on your screen where the camera should be focusing. And that works very well for me in landscape photography, but it seems a bit slow for street photography because if your subject is moving, you need to manually move the joystick around so that the box will follow the subject. So today I wanted to experiment and choose to use a wide focus area instead and pair it with a continuous auto focus focus mode so that if the streets are going to be chaotic and subjects are going to be moving, I'm just going to give the camera the full control over where to focus. And I wanted to test whether this is going to be a better workflow for my street photography or not. Anyway, this video is also meant to be as an update to my current subscribers that I won't be uploading any videos up until maybe early December because I'll have an upcoming trip and I'm really, really excited about it. So I'll be preoccupied doing videos for that. So if you're not subscribed, then make sure that you are so that you'll see updates when I upload them. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll probably have some idea of where I'll be. So this place behind me is going to be one of the classics and it's the Temple Street Night Market, one of the busiest flea markets around the area. And it looks quiet because it's a Monday, so probably not a lot of people. But it's quite unfortunate as well because there should be a classic photo from this side where there's going to be a parking lot and then I can go up for an elevated view of the entire street with this shrine entrance as well. But it looks like it's gone and I don't see any other looking points from that and I'm just going to flash on the screen the photo I took ages ago of that exact view that I wanted to recreate for today but I guess yeah for now uh, let's just walk around the night market and see what we can shoot. Shooting around this district proved to be an enjoyable endeavor as I figured the theme I can represent with some of the shots is going to be a combination of the old Hong Kong mixed in with the new modern ones. Let me know if you agree that I've captured the essence well enough. In all my photo taking, it looks like I walked so far I ended up two train stations away from the Mong Kok district. 
And now I'm just walking my way back and let's see if we can find other interesting subjects to photograph on that walk. But it's already quite okay anyway. It's quite breezy already. It's quite chill. It's like 19 degrees Celsius out. So it's quite comfortable for walking anyway. So quite enjoying this so far. The walk back showed some more interesting frames. And as I look back on the photos, it does appear I had decent focus and sharpness in the shots. So maybe the experiment about the focus area was successful. Though personally, I think I should play around more on the settings to see what really works for me as I don't want to fully rely on the camera and want to improve on my technical skill set in handling it. But it's a start in understanding the different modes some more. Okay, so if you want to see more of Hong Kong districts, then click on this video where I try to overcome my social anxiety and ask strangers for photos in the business district. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.